Dylan and Megan and Sarah and Dylan. Nothing but net. All right, he's going for it. Nothing but net. And now just from a logistical producing standpoint, I need to ask about the Lakers game. How exactly do you orchestrate that? What kind of rules do they give you before you can sit down and shoot somewhere like that? You want to talk about that? Uh, it, yeah, it takes a lot of effort. <laughs> Was there anything that you wanted to do during that scene that they said, uh-uh, you got to shoot it a different way? Yeah, there were a couple things that were in the script that that we weren't allowed to say or do. Not 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 dirty things or anything like that. But you know, the NBA is a is a brand. And I remember we didn't know if we were going to get Kobe to actually interact with our actors until like we were like shooting. the day before. Like yeah. oh yeah, like that. Day. It was you know just tricky with his schedule so and everything. Cool. But yeah, that whole sequence was a, a serious amount of work. In fact, the cheerleader bit was something that, that kind of happened at the last minute because in the script, Will had always hit someone else with the ball. And when, when we were going to do it live in front of an audience, we thought, you know, out of context, this is going to look <laughs> mean-spirited and, and maybe like people aren't going to get this. So what can we do? Because we really wanted to do do that in front of an audience. Because that's what, actually what we did, is we shot at halftime of a real game. So the idea for the cheerleader really came up in prep of, well, what if he, what if on the day when we shoot it in front of the audience, it looks like he's going to hit that. And the, the, my favorite thing about that day was that they came to me and they said, uh, could you write up an announcement to let the audience know what's going to happen? And I said, no, I don't want them to know what's going to happen. And they said, well, if you don't write up some kind of an announcement, no one's going to be there during halftime. Everybody's going to be using the restroom or getting beers. So I wrote an announcement that said something to the effect of, ladies and gentlemen, please stick around at halftime. We're going to shoot a scene from an upcoming Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg comedy. And in this scene, Will Ferrell needs to drain a half court shot. He's been practicing for three months and believes he can hit it on the first try. Mm. So the audience was expecting Will to take this half court shot. And when Will hit the cheerleader, the place went bananas. <laughs> Are you worried about people shooting that with phones and then putting it out on the internet? No, I mean, we, we honestly, the, the dumb thing about it is that we never even thought that much about it. We just thought like, oh, this is gonna be really fun. And then and then, and then literally like an hour after we did it, it was all over the internet. And then we thought, well, you know, that's fine. That's good publicity for the movie. And But the other thing that was funny was that how many news stories tried to make it look as though Will was really drunk at a game and really <laughs> The local a, announcers know. on the news when I got home from the shoot were saying, I can't believe he hit her with a real basketball. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a great featurette for the DVD special feature menu, just like all the crazy reports that came out of that one day of shooting. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good idea, yeah. But the thing about that day, that was the most fun day, I think, for everybody. Will was so excited to, to get up in front of an audience and, and do it in front of an audience, and, and so nervous about whether he would actually hit her with the ball or not, which he did. He drilled her two times, because we, we, <laughs> we, we got to do two takes in front of the crowd. And the thing that was really cool, and um, our, our great thanks to the, the Pelicans fans was that we shot the scene one time, nobody knew what was going to happen, and the audience, when he hit her with the ball, the audience gasped, and then they cheered. And then, and then we, we had enough time to do another take, so we, we set up again and we did another take, and the second take the local camera crew and the audience completely played along. The, the local camera crew, once they knew the scene, they, they cut together what was on the Jumbotron as though it was the movie. They would cut away to Mark and they would cut back to Will. And then when Will hit her with the ball the second time, they gasped again, but then they booed him. And then when he was being chased around the arena, they booed him. And when he's being dragged out of the arena and you see all those fans like throwing stuff at him and yelling at him that they all we didn't even give the, the crowd any direction they just immediately played it like it was really happening and we we never thought that would happen we, we didn't bother giving them any direction because we thought oh that won't work that sounds like the uh the stars aligning for that day of shooting in the best it, way possible it was it was in fact we had had we had two days uh after that at the arena to pretty much reshoot it and what i had told everybody is don't worry about this halftime thing we'll just do it if we get a couple of shots from it, great. If we don't get anything, we'll recreate it in the arena in the next couple of days. And what you see in the movie is about 95% of those shots are from the actual day. Is this already? It's not. It's the middle of April. What's this? 
playoff tickets against the Los Angeles Lakers? I'm bad. That is cool. Dustin Mayron. Hey, hey, this is my family. Well, come on down. You guys can sit with the team. You hear that? You want to meet Kobe? Can I get five beers? This one's for Dylan and Megan and Sarah and Dylan. Nothing but that.